Internet Explorer has gotten kicked around a lot in the past few years as people are leaving it in droves and heading to Firefox, Chrome, and the other browsers. And while Internet Explorer 8 certainly is much better than its predecessors, it still lags far behind in a lot of areas. First, we will begin with the SunSpider JavaScript test. As this graph shows, it wasn't even close as Opera 10.5 finished the test over 10 times faster. It doesn't get any better when it comes to the Dromeo test either, as Internet Explorer 8 couldn't even complete it. Using both the Celtic Cane's JavaScript test and the V8 benchmark, IE8 just barely lagged along. But of course, JavaScript isn't everything. Using ACID 3, which is less of a test of outright speed than the other tests, Internet Explorer 8 fared quite poorly as well. It also finished way behind the other browsers in the Peacekeeper test, which focuses on many, many aspects of a browser's performance and is a better general test. While faster than Internet Explorer 7, as you can tell, fast and Internet Explorer 8 don't go together very well. It does get somewhat better when you look at boot up times. As you can see, in a warm start, starting the browser after it's already been opened, IE is faster than Firefox and Opera, but when it comes to cold starts, again, it's dead last. Memory usage is its strong suit, but even then, it's solidly outclassed by Firefox. That's really disappointing, considering that Internet Explorer is built into Windows to a level that the others just can't match. Luckily, numbers aren't everything. Using Internet Explorer isn't nearly as bad as in previous versions, as long as you can keep away from loading up with a million toolbars. Arrow Glass is nicely integrated into the top of the browser, and you can quickly and easily customize the look of the browser to make it nice and streamlined looking. It also features several nice features, such as in private browsing, which as with the other browsers, won't save your history when you're in that mode. One very nice feature of Internet Explorer 8 is support for accelerators. Accelerators allow you to do different things with highlighted text, such as map it, translate it, email it, and more. It's a very useful feature that I certainly wouldn't mind using in more browsers. Overall, Internet Explorer isn't as terrible as you might think. For sure, it's slower than, say, Chrome, but not to the point that the numbers make it out to be. It lacks a lot of the special features, such as individual tab handling, robust add-on support, and outright speed that the other browsers have, however, and security continues to be a major problem. While it's not the joke that it used to be, there's no doubt that you can do much better. So Internet Explorer gets a fifth place. Now, feel free to go back to the main video via the annotation on your screen to see how the rest of the browsers did.